Hello guys and welcome to day seven. Day seven? Day seven of Vida. And today, since yesterday I filmed my office tour, today I thought I would address one of the things that I talked about briefly in that office tour, and that is my notebook problem. Now, as I was gathering the problem, I realized how much of a problem it is because I've never had them all in one concentrated space before. There's a lot of them. We're going to go through uh, the excessive stationery that I have acquired uh, throughout. I mean, this isn't even for my whole life. This is a very small sampling of the notebooks that I have purchased through my life. I hear you laughing over there. I'm doing shit. <laughs> we're going to start with the ones that I use, and then we're going to devolve into worse and worse cases of I bought this and I've never used it. Notebooks that I use on a semi-regular, semi-daily basis are these four. We're going to start with the most boring one. This is my work notebook. I actually did not mean to bring this home, but I found it in my bag and thought, wow, that was coincidental. Next is another one that stays in my bag mostly, and it is this little, oh, I've got a to-do list. Sticky notes. I also have a problem with sticky notes. It's like a faux traveler's notebook. It's got a little band. And then inside of it, you can kind of see already, I've got more notebooks. I've got this front notebook, which is a calendar. I've got the next notebook, which is a lists notebook. Then I've got my YouTube notebook. And you see, I was going to decorate all of these because I got into a phase where I decorated all of the fronts of my little Traveler's notebooks, Midori notebook things, but because I can't commit to things at all, I just have little post-it notes telling me which each of these are instead of just decorating them. So it's kind of my jank little post-it note organization. This is the one that I keep on me at all times. That's what I tell myself, so if I have an idea at some point during the day, just when I'm out, as if I'm ever out and about. Uh, then I can pull out this, and it's like, oh, I can write in my little traveler's notebook. I don't have that. Then I have a secondary work notebook. Next notebook that I use, probably the second most, is this one, which you will see, you saw yesterday, and you're going to see again. This is my Field Notes script notebook. I thought it was super cute, and it's got this really cool, like, embossed, like uh, school supply design on it. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it. I can't tell if it's focused. Are you focused? I don't know. It's got all of my scripts in here. I think it's really funny because the first script I ever wrote in here is my Y Geology script. And that has been by far my most viewed video. So that's a little weird. And then finally, you also saw this yesterday. This is my bullet journal. I've only very recently started bullet journaling, like maybe for a month or so now. And you put, I don't know, if you know anything about bullet journaling, you know that it's just kind of everything that you want in one little notebook. So, I have like my reading books, my reading books, as opposed to those watching books. I hate it, I hate the color of it. That was kind of the purpose of why I got it, was that I was gonna just not feel bad about using it because I don't like the color. So those are all the ones that I can reasonably say I use. So let's get into ones that I do not use. Going back to the Midori. I have all of these little Midori refills. I have never had to refill. This one that I was going to record my food, then I realized how much I hated that, so I stopped. This one I decorated. Well, <laughs> Drew is laughing at me. Look, this one's got a really cute, I made this sticker. I stole an image, but I made the sticker on it. One page that I wrote something on, and then there's nothing else. This one is completely empty. This is a lined field notes notebook, but I thought it was funny because my other channel name is Field Notes. So I bought this, and then I also bought this one, which is another Field Notes notebook. And this also is completely empty. I brought this one with me to VidCon. This one I bought, I think, specifically for my trip to California last year, because I thought it was really pretty, because it's got, ooh, it's got like different colors, pages, and stuff I've never written in it. This one got anything in it? No, this is just another empty notebook. It's just lined, empty notebook. This one. This one's got stuff written in it. This one I also bought uh, specifically for uh, California. So this one is literally like little journaly entries. It's what we did every day while we were in California. But I know that the majority of these, the whole like point 
of like journaling while you're on vacation is to journal while you're on vacation, right? 90% of these entries were written on the plane ride back when I sat there trying to remember everything that we had done. Well, that worked out great. This all was supposed to be scrapbook stuff. So I have like an entire bag somewhere of all this just like miscellaneous stuff that I kept. This one I bought because I thought it was adorable and I don't usually try to do that because that means that I'm never gonna write in it. So this guy, see, he's got sushi on him. He's completely empty. I have got two write in the rain notebooks. This one's from high school. I remember it very vividly. I have a to-do list. This is the notebook Drew used to make sure that we could afford to move out. So that's in here somewhere. Got this guy. Little magnetic closure one. I used it for my museum studies final, which I put way more effort than 90% of the other people know. Oh, and then I tried to do some journaling while we were at field camp. Let's see how far I got. Oh look, the second day. So that, <laughs> not used. <sighs> got this guy, it's another like journal that I decided to start keeping. This one was, it was more of a, a concern, like it was an effort to keep like a journal. So I have a little like pumpkin stickers and a little cauldron because I think I stopped doing this around, um, yeah, November. I stopped doing this in November. Did you just say that you no longer find stickers helpful for planning? I don't find stickers helpful for planning. Okay. Why? Numbers. Is it because I have a sticker maker? Right, right, yeah. I mean, I still use them. I still like them. <laughs> I want them for scrapbooking. I don't find them useful for planning. So now let's move on to like the worst of the worst, which is planners, which cost me money instead of like, you know, five bucks here and there. Because that's not money. It's not. Well, it's money, but it's not. It's not as bad as this, which is literally an empty binder because I hated the inside of it. It was so stupid. This is a well, I don't know, a Webster's Pages. Webster Pages Color Crush Planner. And the inside of it, as I said, I'm not good at decorating. I'm good at utilitarian. And the inside of it was not utilitarian at all. It was so fluffy and decorated and that's just not how I do things. So I took all the pages out and now I just have like an empty binder that is not a true A5 size which causes all sorts of problems. Next, when I was in California, I bought this mahoosive thing. Mahoosive. It's a day designer. You have one day on one page. And this is so inconvenient to carry around. I don't know why I got this. I should probably just get rid of this one. Last year I used Nairn Condren. This is said Aaron Condren. Um, I actually think I used it up until kind of the end. You can see this is where I did stickers. See, stickers. It was done. It's, I like finished. So I finished that notebook. This year, I also got an Aaron Condren. Because I'm a glutton for punishment. So this is, this is the Aaron Condren I got this year. Uh, I used it, I think, until the day I stopped using this. This was how I was using it. This is an hourly. It makes more sense for me to use an hourly. It gives you a blank note page. And then this, which is so intimidating to me. What am I supposed to put here? What am I supposed to put here in like the month? This is, ooh, this is the blank month. What am I gonna put there? I don't know. So I don't worry about it anymore. And it's like, it stayed blank. I never used that. Nothing. For the three months I did use this planner. So that didn't make any sense for me anymore. Again, it's big and I don't, use it. These are all the stickers that I made myself to use with it, but I don't use stickers in my planning. So, that is my notebook problem. I have a lot of notebooks. That's gonna be it for the video today. If you've got a weird collecting problem, let me know. This notebook doesn't count, by the way. This isn't mine, this is Drew's. That yellow notepad over there? Oh, not mine! Doesn't count. One Happy seventh day of Vida. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.